Hello, I've been continuing along with stick control and today's video is a summary of my takeaways from pages 8 and 9. Similar to the previous video that I did called Unlocking Fills with Stick Control, we will look at two specific exercises that come off of pages 8 and 9 in Stick Control and come up with some drum set fills based on those two exercises. And before we get there, I'll also show you two other drum set practice ideas that I came up with um, from pages 8 and 9 uh, before we do the drum set fill stuff. So here are what the rhythms look like on page 8. These are in cut time, so you have two bars of cut time. And in cut time, the half note gets the beat. So I've just been because of the default of my metronome, I've just been thinking about this as one bar of 4-4, four, four, where the set of 4 eighth notes is a set of 4 16th notes, and the two sets of triplets are a septuplet. So that's how I've been counting it. This longer rhythm on the bottom is how all of the rhythms are set up on page 9. And you, it's a four bar phrase, four bars of cut time. And you can see that the first three bars are the same rhythm as the exercises on page 8. And then there's just one additional bar of only triplets. On page 9, some of the exercises wind up being two lines long. Um, because the sticking doesn't turn around until you have a second line. So the way that I've been practicing page 9, rather than doing one minute per exercise, I just practice for two minutes per line of exercise. The triplets section on pages 8 and 9 not only contains triplets, it also contains eighth notes. Um, you can see in this particular example, which is half of one of the larger examples on page 9, that it has one of the paradiddle inversions interspersed with single stroke triplets. Here's how that one sounds on the practice pad. As you can see, I just played the eighth note straight in that example, and they could also be swung if you want. Um, one good thing if you're playing them slower is to use a, a more fine-grained subdivision on your metronome. Um, so right now I've got the metronome with an eighth note subdivision, and I'll play that I'll play that same exercise both straight and swung. So here's it straight. And then here would be swung. One, two, Ready, and... This next exercise from page 8 is really good for working your weak hand. As you can see in this case, the left hand is a lot busier than the right with the sticking. Here it is on the practice pad.
So the first thing that I thought of when I saw the exercises on page 8 was how to play the 8th notes. Should they be played straight or should they be swung? And, you know, that sort of got me off on a little consideration of how do you play straight 8th notes versus swung ones over a jazz ride pattern. So I was, throughout the past two weeks, I was doing an exercise like this. So the second thing I thought of was substituting the hands for the snare drum and the bass drum and you could play some exercises like this. So obviously, as you saw there, that exercise that challenges your weak hand also can challenge your bass drum. So I wasn't even sure if I was going to make a video um, based on weeks eight and nine. And, you know, I, I hadn't really been thinking about it. I was looking at those other exercises. And then one day, my left hand just kind of went. And I was like. You know, I was sitting at the drums practicing and just sort of and I was like, oh, this, this exercise is doing something, right? So, and that's something that you, you really only know after, you know, working on these type of exercises. Sometimes things come out and it's kind of cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to go through some trades. I came up with some fills. Um, just like I did in the first video. One, two, one. Hello again. I hope that you enjoyed the video. I definitely had a lot of fun making it. I'm going to include PDF transcriptions of the fills that I came up with for pages eight and nine in the video description for anybody that's interested. And again, I hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.